Hey guys, now on a tour bus right now, and I, I say tour because we're getting ready to head towards the Everglades. So we're gonna see some nice stops along the way here with another Mizzou grab. <laughs> we're, we're hanging tight here. So yeah, definitely in the Everglades, never been, only here. Great things about it, so we're heading south on a nice little road trip. Very excited for things that are going on. Uh, we're just gonna hang out tight. I hear there might be manatees, maybe alligators, small children being fed, we'll see. Very excited, and uh, I'll keep you posted as we get closer. We're getting into the thick of things here, right about, uh, approaching. We're, so we're, we're about to jo uh, join onto these uh, hover boats. They said they could fit about 25 or so at least before things start getting a little bit heavy topside. So here's a look at what we're, we're taking on today. Those are some of the boats. It's going to be fun. Very exciting. And uh, it's still work to be done. Got some photos to take. It's going to be a little bit rough. Once again, it's always a rough experience in Florida. So here we go. Everglades tour. Guys, that's a, apparently a 10 to 12 foot gator everyone's taking a look at right here. I'll show you a little bit closer. Okay, here's your shot. Here it comes, buddy. Yeah, mama. Okay, watch your hand, like for real, for real. This is us. That's our tour guide. But that is a gator. He has no worries whatsoever. <laughs> they can jump three quarters of their body length out of the water. That's why I'm sitting up here. We're <laughs> down. <laughs> 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 So we just got off the Everglades. We're still around the region. We're still at uh, Saw Creek Recreation Park. Yeah, yeah, she said we could start walking this way. And so, uh, yeah, basically we're, uh, we're about to go see the animal exhibits, which is where like the alligators are in their natural environment, more than up close, but just kind of like right next to us. So very excited. I'm kind of leading the trail right now. You can see there's some people behind me. I'm sort of like taking charge. I don't know, it's weird, but yeah, we're, we're heading that direction now. You can see the lily pads, everything else that's underneath. It's gonna be fun. It only gets more fun here in Florida. You're gonna to wanna to see this like right in front of me. Here we go. This is a red tail boa. This is a boa constrictor. This is the type of species that'll squeeze things to death. Did you hear that? The type of species that'll squeeze things to death. These are non native. Almost like you will find a hug from a grandmother. They are very lucrative in the pet trade. Just like the Burmese pythons and the reticulated pythons. This are so long inside, they don't stand up naturally, they're very long. They have to have a way of defending themselves from the rear. Well, their tail is meant to propel the alligator through the water at very high speeds. The alligator can swim through the water at close to 25 miles an hour. Bruce Leroy. Bruce Leroy. Bruce Leroy, huh? No, he's got he's got a cut in his back there. That's from different little scuffles between the other gators during feeding time. They don't talk, so it's they can't fresh. be verbal. Uh -huh. So it's a little more physical relationship. And you them. you said if you had to defend yourself going through the eyes, just does nothing because they they close them. Not only they close them, they have the eyes actually sink into their skull. The really? Okay. Dude. Wow. Plus, if you go for the eye, they have the third eye called the nictitating membrane. Now, why is obviously just for uh, sanitation purposes, but do they carry any germs that well, we need to wash? Well, they say reptiles can <laughs> carry salmonella, <laughs> but on part of our insurance program, mm -hmm. they're a lot happy that we tape the mouth shut and then we tell people, please wash your hands. Mm -hmm. Technically, so you're supposed to wash your right hands here. if you have yeah. any animal, including a dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. we just give you the option. Yeah. 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 You can take uh, take a look, a bit of a picture here, a tight shot. He's been got, uh, yeah, I guess apparently gotten to a few scuffles or so. A little bit of scratches on his back. So they were saying, if his eyelid closes exactly, and you were to try to gouge him out in some sense, if you also got in a scuffle with him, there's nothing you can do apparently. So in some cases, it's best to just wait for the alligator to take his fill on whatever part of you he just got a hold of <laughs> before it's time for you to say, uh, thanks, I've had enough. Uh, but otherwise, I'm Anthony Martinez reporting here uh, at Sawgrass Recreation Park with some of our friends right here. Thanks for sticking with us. More coming up, RTDNA 2012.